Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you how to add materials uh, <clears throat> to the surfaces of these BSP brushes. It's very, very easy. Um, I'm just going to go to my starter content here and under materials, I've got a lot to choose from. Um, I've, down at the bottom here, I've just got some walnut floor uh, that I'm going to throw on. All I have to do is drag and drop it into my scene and you'll see that it'll appear straight away. If I click the top of this surface, <clears throat> I can basically come in here and choose alignment. So if it was out of alignment, which it's not, I can um, apply that surface planar floor to it. I can also, um, if there was more floors here, select adjacent floor surfaces. And I can also come in here and pan it in different directions if I wanted to. I can also come in and rotate it. I can change this icon to rotate it in different th different cycles. And I can come in here and also scale it so I can make it four times as big in the U and the V and apply that. I will we'll just turn that back to one. For the walls, um, I basically can select one wall and then again I can go up to this geometry section here in the details and just go select all adjacent wall surfaces and it will select all the walls for me then all I have to do is throw in another uh, material I'm just going to throw in this white one and for the top I'll just put in the blue if I wanted to add in any lights into this scene I can come over to my place mode here go to lights and put in a point light again over here I can change the intensity and color and the radius of that and there's other lights in here, uh, such as direction lights, spotlights, and a skylight. But I'm going to leave that for now. I'm just going to duplicate this one down here. Then what I can do is, over my scene outliner, um, I've got all my brushes that make up the corridor. And I've also got these two point lights. If I select them all in the outliner, and then click on this plus icon with a folder. I basically group them into a folder and I'll just call it corridor. So then if I ever wanted to select those, I can just open that folder and they're there for me. It's very, very easy to find them. Uh, another thing is, now that I've created my first corridor, I can grab all those elements and uh, duplicate them. So now I've got two. And then I can rotate this around 90 degrees. Uh, just make sure that's snapped in. I'm going to again come to this here. It has. And then I'm going to move this into place. And if I go back to my perspective, you'll see that I've got two adjoining walls. Uh, this one I could probably actually delete as well. I don't need that one. So it just makes things very, very easy um, to duplicate corridors. And again, if I had all those corridors selected, uh, I could um, use my edit geometry to make the bigger or smaller. Um, I'm just thinking while I was, have those selected, I'm actually going to make another folder and just call those corridor two. just to make it easier again and I'll just delete that one. Now <clears throat> as we have these uh, doorways we don't have any doors in them uh, what we want to do is create them in Maya so that's what we're going to do in the next session.